Thanks Ethos for sponsoring this video. Every country has their own take on this incredible street food. On this series, I have already made hot dogs from the USA, Colombia, then I tackled Mexico, and I got roasted big time. More on that later, as I also made an authentic Argentinian-style dog, a Vietnamese-style, and a few others. But today, it is episode 2, and the hot dogs get even crazier, as these are the hot dogs of the world. So let's begin. And we're starting off by fixing my mistake. On a previous episode, I did something completely different. And honestly, I got roasted on the comment section. And that's because most Mexican had never seen that hot dog before. And I don't blame them. Today, we're throwing interesting away and being as authentic as possible. As this is the Sonora hot dog. And everything starts off with meat. First thing to do is to go ahead and wrap the whole hot dog with bacon. Then you want to do the same exact thing with a jalapeno. Oh yes, my Mexican friends like it spicy. Because once done, take a look. Now to cook them, just go ahead and throw everything into a pan. And if you want to be authentic, you definitely want to get some char on those bacons. Not everything should be cooked to perfection. A little bit of crust, a little bit of burn, it's all good. As that's cooking, let's go ahead and prepare the rest. First, you want to dice up some pickles and throw it in a bowl, followed by a good amount of Maggi sauce, which this sauce is fantastic by the way. Then you want to mix everything well and this is ready. As here are the next toppings. We got guacamole, lettuce, canned jalapeno, the Maggi pickles, tomatoes, onions, and of course, chorizo. These were also slightly cooked. As to assemble, it's pretty simple. First, the bread. I like to use this hoagie roll. First up, add a good amount of mayo. Then that beautiful bacon hot dog, followed by the bacon jalapeno. Yes, the whole thing. Then to be healthy, a tiny bit of lettuce. We can't forget about the onions, diced tomatoes, those Maggi pickles, and of course, guacamole. To top it all off, a tiny bit of chorizo. And this is my take on Sonora hot dog. It is famous for a reason. It has to be delicious. But let's see what the guys think. This is the type of food I like. I like guac. I ain't get no sausage. Probably still has a little bit more than I care for for toppings on a hot dog, but I think these actually work really well, that freshness of the guacamole. It tastes very salady and hot doggy at the same time. It's a lot of flavors combined. It's like a, the crunchy, how about a jalapeno pepper inside? Oh, what the f is this? That was a mistake. Yo, is that a whole jalapeno in there? Picante. Next up, we're gonna go all the way to Poland. Take a look at this one. They like it big in Poland. <laughs> yeah, boy. And the best part is that to make them, it's super simple. But you gotta get the most important ingredient right. And that would be this. Polished kielbasa. You might be already familiar with this sausage. It tastes fantastic, slightly smoky, and when you have some good ingredients, you don't need much. For the bread, I'm gonna be using this Italian bread. Now, the sausage is pretty straightforward. You gotta remember one thing. It's fully cooked already. So all you're trying to do is warm it up and put a nice beautiful color on it. Because once that's done, you want to open up the bread, stick that beautiful sausage right in, and top it off with spicy mustard and a good amount of ketchup. Now this is the Poland hot dog. Now you tell me, what do you think? As now it's time to give it a try and let you know how it tastes. Oh boy, now this hot dog is massive. I better have good life insurance and a good exercise routine to eat like I do. And I would like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Ethos. I have a family that I need to take care of. And if a hot dog like this takes me out, Ethos helps me protect them because through them I found the right life insurance for me. This is something I've been putting off for a while, but they helped me lock in a rate that was affordable, quick, and easy. Insurance is about knowing your options and being prepared. If you are the breadwinner, a life insurance policy can help provide income replacement should something happen to you. A term policy can be customized to give you coverage through your peak earning years. And it doesn't have to be confusing, expensive, or time consuming. Ethos focuses on creating a seamless customer experience with a 100% online application process. The thing I like the most is that there's no need for medical exams or blood tests. And you can get coverage in minutes instead of weeks. You just answer a few health questions online. One of the top reasons people don't get life insurance is that they think it's too expensive and that's not the case. Life insurance is more affordable than you might think. But don't procrastinate because each year that goes by, life insurance increases in cost. The sooner you buy life insurance, the more affordable it's likely to be. If you're interested in learning more about Ethos or if you're interested in getting your own life insurance, personalized free quote, check out my link below. Whoa! That thing is huge! Cheers, okay. everybody. Hmm. Wow. This is really, really good. Well, it's really interesting. I've actually never had a hot dog with this sort of sausage. It's almost like sausage, yeah. 
The sausage itself is also very juicy, and I like the sauces. It's not your typical mustard. It tastes like Dijon or something like that. I wonder if people use this in a food challenge at a restaurant because there's no way I would ever be able to finish this in one sitting. It's just a long sausage, ketchup, mustard, and a big piece of bread. Definitely need a to-go box. Please. Now the next hot dog is quite popular here in the United States, but it's inspired by another culture, and I'm talking about the Italians. Italian-American hot dog. If you've ever been to New Jersey, you are familiar with Jimmy Buffs. There's always a huge line, and whenever you walk in, get ready to be hit with a lot of good smells. Let me show you how this incredible hot dog is made. First thing we need is some Italian sausages, but they also use regular hot dog there, so it would be your choice. First, go ahead and throw a good amount of butter into the pan. Add a good amount of onions, followed by the beautiful Italian sausage, red and green bell peppers, and a good amount of gold potatoes. Now here's the thing with this. You want to let this cook nice and slow. The idea here is to come feed everything, and everything will eventually start getting some nice beautiful color. That's when you know it's ready. So to assemble, we got our Italian bread, spread it a good amount of mustard, then go in with the Italian confit sausage, followed by those beautiful fully cooked potatoes, don't forget the veggies, and then to top it all off, a good amount of ketchup. Now what do you think of this? The Italian American hot dog. Is it good? Will it be something you try? Well, before we move on to all of the other countries, let's go ahead and give this one a go. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a fan of the potatoes and the sauteed peppers in there. Honestly, you can't even really taste the potatoes too much. Ketchup brings a good balance to everything, balances out all the flavors between the peppers and the gli- The glizzy. <laughs> Ketchup is a good balance of all the flavors with the peppers and the hot dog. And it pairs really well with, I guess, like the Dijon mustard, I'm assuming, that's in there. All in all, it blends very beautifully together. It's a pretty good hot dog. It's actually really good. I highly recommend you guys try this one. I'm gonna finish the whole thing. Cheers. <laughs> now it's time to fly all the way up to Germany. And this one looks really simple, but don't be fooled, friends. The flavor on it is just on another level. And everything starts off with this. It's not hot dogs, but bratwurst. Luckily, it's available everywhere in the US today. And to cook them, it's quite simple. Into a pan they go with a little bit of oil. You wanna get a nice color on it. And the longer you cook them, the more fat they will release. For the buns, potato buns is best. Throw them right in so that we can start heating it up. Because once you have a nice beautiful color on the bratwurst, it's time to assemble. Go ahead and add it right on the bun, followed by Dijon mustard that has seed, and of course, ketchup. Now it does not get any easier than that. Nice and simple, but the flavor should really shine through because of the sausage. At least that's my hope. But let's see what the crew think. Wow, that's so interesting. This one's actually pretty good. The Dijon mustard and the ketchup mix really well. I really like the texture of this hot dog because it's a little bit crumbly, so it's different than what I'm used to, but it's actually kind of nice and refreshing. The potato bun is really good. It has a little bit of crust on the outside. You can tell they toasted it. The actual bratwurst has a nice snap and a really good flavor. It kind of feels like something you would get when you go to a baseball game or a soccer game. You know what I mean? It just, it works really well. I just wish I had a beer right now. That would go perfectly with this dog right now. Now we're gonna jump into Venezuela. Now this one, it's quite unique. It's fair to say that it is a mustard, especially once you see everything that is underneath. Now the most interesting thing about a Venezuelan hot dog is the sauces. Every cart has a different one, but they always have the garlic sauce. And even though each one is quite different, let me show you our take on it. Into a food processor, throw in some garlic, followed by cilantro, a tiny bit of salt, and a good amount of mayo. Blend everything well and that's it. It doesn't get any easier than that. Next, we gotta have some veggies. And into the food processor, everything goes as well. We got some cabbage, carrots, and parsley. Blend everything up and that's it. For the hot dogs, most of the time it's just boiled. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. As now it's time to assemble. So first, the hot dogs go right in, followed by the mayo, a good amount of ketchup, don't forget the veggies to be healthy, then you want to add some potato chips, a good amount of garlic sauce, followed by ketchup, mayo, and mustard. Yep, we're double saucing everything. Because to finish it up, add a good amount of cheese. We're going to be using Gouda cheese. I'll make sure to add a good amount, as this is the Venezuelan hot dog. Now, I'll be honest with you, everything sounds fantastic. But is it as good as it looks? Well, let's find out right now. Oh, man, fire. Very cheesy. This thing is cheesier than Leo's jokes. I'm gonna need a bigger stomach for all these hot dogs. Whoo! I am getting full. There is a sauce here that I've never tried before on a hot dog, but it works. I'm gonna start putting it on. Bunch of different elements. You got a little bit of creaminess with the cheese. He even put potato sticks in here, so it gives it a little bit of that crunch. That's actually good. It's a hot dog, bro. Can't go wrong. You said I could finish this, right? 
Jumping on to the next, we got turkey. This one got me by surprise. Now here's the interesting thing about turkey hot dog. They love their meats. And also the next thing that they fry up is just absolutely insane. So enough talking and let's begin. First up to shallow fry the tomatoes. Yep, you heard that right. We gotta fry this up real good. But not only that, we're also gonna combine it with the hot dogs. That way the flavors of both will infuse together. As soon as we started getting a good color on both, we went ahead and added a good amount of onions. Then of course you wanna toast up the buns. Let all that fat soak into the bread. Oh yes. As now it's time to assemble. First add a good amount of mayo, followed by ketchup, mustard, and then some barbecue sauce. Now go in with the hot dog, followed by the fried tomatoes and onions. Make sure to be generous with it. As to finish it up, some pickled jalapeno. Now this is a Turkish hot dog. And I'll tell you one thing, I don't mind this a bit. But does it taste as good as it looks? Well, we're about to find out right now. <laughs> Magical hot dog has appeared in front of me. Wow. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That's very wet. Wherever this is from, they're making me a believer. This is good. I like the wetness. There's nothing really crazy about this hot dog. It has like a pizza-y flavor to it. It's just a lot of tomatoes, but that is really good. One more bite. See if I can get some more flavors coming in. These tomatoes feel like, like they were charred. The tomato sauce is good, but it's too overpowering and I can't taste the dog. I like the fact that it's really saucy, but the bread is not soggy at all. Wherever it's from, book me a one-way trip. Now there's one country that I really had a hard time trying to find a hot dog for it. And I'm talking about Australia. After so many research, I was not able to find an authentic Australian hot dog. So I got the best second thing. This guy. I absolutely love his videos. And even though he's from Australia, his hot dog was quite insane. Because if you are from Australia, let us know in the comments down below. What is an authentic hot dog from Australia? I would love to know. Now here's how this one is made. First step to cook some bacon and the hot dogs. As soon as you start getting a little bit of color, throw the things to the side and add some onions. Stir everything together and start to fry up an egg. Oh yes, I love the way this is going. Go ahead and fully cook everything except the egg because now things are about to get a little weird. As first, you wanna add a good amount of butter to your hot dog bun, followed by some lettuce, that beautiful bacon we just cooked, and of course the onions. Then the hot dogs go right in. Don't forget that sunny side up fried egg, a good amount of chopped tomatoes, and of course a very special ingredient, beets. As to finish it up, add some cheese, a good amount of barbecue sauce, followed by mustard, mayo, and ketchup. Now all of my Australian friends, is this an authentic Aussie hot dog? I'd love to know in the comments down below. But nevertheless, I wanted to know if it tastes good or not. And we are about to find out right now. So enough talking and let's eat. How do you even put this together? Cheers everybody. I'm a little bit thrown off by this hot dog, I'm not gonna lie. Man, it feels like I'm eating a salad. Nah, no. You get a little bit of sweetness from some beets. You get a lot of richness from the egg. You have the lettuce, a little bit of bite from the bacon. The beets are there. The runny yolk is a nice touch. There's a lot going on here. And for the most part, it works really well. I hate salads. This hot dog is like a short guy with a Chevy, just trying to overcompensate. Oh, fam. I absolutely love this series. I would love to know which hot dog you like better from this episode. Most importantly, if I did not do one from your country yet, or if we did anything wrong, put it on the comments down below everybody because we're gonna make it happen because if there's one thing everybody loves, is hot dog and I would love to know which one is your favorite. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe. Remember, everything I use is always on the description down below. Thank you guys so much and Go make yourself some hot dogs. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.